Some things you need to know about sleep. Hey everybody, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. Sleep is one of those things that every human must do. Typically, we all get some form of it, one way or another, every day of our lives. But how much do you really know about it? Here we lay out some basic facts about sleep that you may not even know, even though the average person spends roughly 25% of their life doing it. But before we get into today's video, you know the drill. Make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Amount versus animal. Did you know that giraffes only require right around two hours of sleep every night? They're not the only ones who don't sleep much. Horses only need around two and a half hours and walruses can go for up to 84 hours without taking a snooze. Then there are animals like cats that spend about two thirds of their day sleeping and bats who spend around 19 hours every day sleeping. We fall somewhere in the middle with the average human needing between seven and nine hours. Can you imagine everything we could get done if we we slept like a giraffe? The colors of sleep. Did you know that back in the day, many more people used to dream entirely in black and white than the dreamers of today? It's been estimated that around 15% of people used to dream in color, but then things changed, and today, roughly 88% of people get to have color-filled dreams. What changed to make the strange phenomenon happen? Color television became a thing. Once we got our hands on color TVs, dreaming in black and white fell and became a thing of the past. Not sleeping can be fatal. Now, you might remember trying hard to pull all-nighters as a kid. For what reason? No one knows. But there's usually a point in most people's lives where they try to stay awake all night and into the next day. Did you know that going for a long enough period without sleep can cause all sorts of problems and in some cases lead to death? And it has. The record for longest time without sleep was set by Randy Gardner, a student in California in 1984. How long did he last before finally crashing? 11 days. Do not try to go for his record though because as we said, others have lost their lives lives attempting to do similar things. Do we have this or? We all know the feeling of trying to get out of bed in the morning. It's miserable and most dread leaving the comfort of their sheets. There is a condition or a problem or a disease called dysania, which makes it not only hard to wake up and shake off the sleepiness, but actually impairs some people from getting out of bed. It's not medically diagnosed though, which is why it's hard to categorize, but it is recognized as an issue some people have. No, you probably don't have true dysania because it's extremely rare, but wouldn't that be a great excuse to have when you're running late? Parasomnias. Okay, since we're already on the subject of issues involving sleep, we want to tell you a little bit about parasomnias. They are a category of sleep disorder that can occur at pretty much any time throughout a period of sleep from falling asleep, during, while switching cycles, and when waking. These often result in things like unusual or abnormal movements, emotions, perceptions, dreams, and even behaviors. Night terrors, sleep-related eating disorders, confusional arousal, and even sleepwalking fall under the parasomnia category. Some people will drive while asleep, some find themselves eating, and several people have done extreme things while suffering from what is called homicidal sleepwalking. We just thought you should know that there are some pretty strange and deadly sleep disorders out there. While we're still here, it's estimated that somewhere around 15% of people are occasional sleepwalkers, which comes out to about one in every seven. You've probably also heard that you should never wake a sleepwalker because it could give them a heart attack, right? Well, according to the National Sleep Foundation, the heart attack thing is a myth. But if you're not careful, you could find yourself dealing with a scene straight from Step Brothers. If you do choose to wake a sleepwalker, be prepared prepared because you could set off a stress response inside of them, which may activate their fight or flight response. You could get hit or they could hurt themselves, but we guess that's better than a heart attack. Hypnic jerk. You know that feeling of falling you get as you're trying to sleep and you can't help but jerk and it wakes you up? That's what's known as a hypnic jerk and it's been deemed a totally normal and natural phenomenon. Nobody really knows what causes it though, but it's thought that physical activity, anxiety, and exercise near bedtime can increase one's chances of it happening. Sleeping separately. Did you know that around a third of married couples will admit that they sleep better when they do it alone? Yep, and roughly one in four married couples do sleep sleep alone in their own bed, sometimes even in their own separate rooms. Some doctors may even recommend this as sleep is so important and if you can't do it the way you and your body needs because of a partner, you may want to give the separate sleeping thing a go. 
sleeping, and sign language. This may sound crazy if you're not deaf or if you don't know sign language, but it's not uncommon for those that are deaf to sign in their sleep. Many people have reported their deaf family, friends, and children signing in their sleep, which makes you wonder if that's the equivalent of talking while sleeping. Sleep deprivation versus starvation. Okay. We are in no way saying that those who have to experience true starvation aren't suffering or that people who are sleep deprived have it worse. What we are saying is that a lack of sleep will claim your life long before a lack of food will. So it is essential to get your rest. Sleep deprivation is actually listed as a form of torture by Amnesty International, and it makes sense, doesn't it? One of the worst feelings in the world is being so tired that you can barely stay awake. But can you imagine being forced to for days on end? Sleep deprivation can be detrimental to our health significantly and can lead to many terrible side effects after prolonged stretches without it. Blind people and dreaming. You may wonder if blind people are capable of dreaming, and the answer is yes, of course, blind people are capable of dreaming. Typically, dreams occur during the sleep stage known as REM, which stands for rapid eye movement. But REM isn't something that's produced by the eyes, despite the name, but is generated from deep inside the brain. So yeah, considering blind people have brains they dream, and when they went blind can play a role in what they dream about. Those who have always been blind will dream in all of the senses besides sight. Those who went blind at least five or six years after being born can generally produce imagery in their dreams, even if they haven't seen in years. Our brain is crazy and can adapt to and do some pretty amazing things. Forgetting. Have you ever woken up from a dream and found yourself having a hard time remembering what it was you dreamt about? Well, according to science, we apparently forget around 50% of our dreams within five minutes of waking up. Now, we're not saying that this doesn't occur sooner, we're just saying that after five minutes you'll probably never remember that first 50% ever again. Then, after another five minutes, around 90% of your dream is likely to be forgotten. If you're anything like us, we can keep a dream in our head for about 15 seconds after we wake up. Sleep positions. Now, when it comes to sleeping, there are three main positions that many people make their way into soon after lying down back, stomach, or side. There are variations of these, the log, the free faller, the yearner, and so on. Well, did you know that scientists have found that around 41% of adults curl up into the fetal position at night? They're not sure why that is, but it's not terrible, considering it's the third best position for you at night. First best, on your back, which only 8% of people do. There's also research which suggests that there's a correlation between the position you sleep in and your personality. For example, those who sleep in the fetal position may try to seem tough on the outside, but are actually sensitive types. Crazy, huh? Sleep and pain. Did you know that something that seems like it may have nothing to do with pain can lower your pain tolerance? That's right, and what we're talking about is sleep deprivation. Studies show that cutting down a person's sleep by around half can dramatically lower the threshold of pain which that person normally has. The reasons behind it aren't really known, but it happens, so if you're thinking about going out for that marathon on half a night's sleep, you better get rethinking your decision. Some truly strange mammals. Of course, we already know that humans are like really weird, but did you know their sleep habits seem to support that conclusion as well? We, humans, are the only mammals that will delay sleeping by choice. Of course, no other mammals have favorite books or television programs or homework to do, so it makes sense that they wouldn't delay their rest at night. Speaking of going to sleep, did you know that the ideal amount of time it should take the average person to get to sleep is between 10 and 15 minutes? If it takes you longer, you may not be ready to sleep, or you may just have lots of stuff on your mind. If it takes you five minutes or less, you could be, and probably are, sleep deprived. Although 15 minutes sounds like maybe a long time, just wait it out. Chances are you'll be snoozing away before you know it if you give it a shot and don't give up. Tip, stay off all electronics once you get under the sheets. Well, we've learned a lot of exciting stuff about sleep so far, and we still have one more wild fact to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, what is your sleep like? Do you have any excellent stories about parasomnia? Do you get enough sleep to ensure you're living your life to its highest potential? Anything else about sleep you'd like to know, like to talk about? Let us know in the comments below. One, do you want to earn more money? It may not seem like sleep could be the answer to your money issues, but studies show that the more sleep deprived you are, the less money you're going to earn. A study done by the University of California at San Diego's Jeffrey Schrader and Williams College's Matthew Gibson 
in 2016 showed that those who stepped up their sleep time by one hour every night earned 5% more in the long run. This means that if you don't get enough sleep, not only do your mental and physical abilities drop, so does the money in your bank account. When you miss out on sleep, you can't learn as quickly, you become more irritable, your productivity and your memory suffer, and you have a higher risk of sleeping on the job, which does not look good. So if you're looking to get rich, sleep a little more. Oh, <laughs>